What is the best tabletop battle map screen for a projector? The battle map projector hangs on the ceiling, the adventure is prepared and everything is ready for the first RPG session. But at the first battle the image quality leaves more than a little to be desired. The Infinite Realms team has tested tablecloth, pads, screens and reflective paints for you. My name is Jan, let's do this. We installed a ceiling mount for the projector at both Nina and Danny's place as well as Jesse's and mine. Unfortunately, our two tables are not particularly suitable as a projection surface by themselves. So far, we've made do with a regular white tablecloth. Nina has one made of fabric and Jesse has one made of plastic. But Peter Fisher's comment under our video, comparing TV cases to projectors, gave us the idea to look at other options. We've had our sights set on a white heavy-duty rubber mat for a while now, and we got it for this test. We took Peter's tip and got some canvas frames, like the ones artists use for their paintings. Here you can see a canvas on which we will apply two different surface coatings. To do this, we divided the canvas into three parts. White projection paint, mud color varnish and the pure canvas. Of course, our tablecloth, cotton and high gloss plastic are not forgotten, nor is the blank wooden tabletop. No products are sponsored, you can find links to all products or similar products in the description. Since we don't have any instruments to test the luminous flux scientifically correct, we had to come up with something. We will take four photos of the battle map, of each setup with fixed values on the camera so that the pictures are comparable. As a test map, we will use the Forgotten Graves 3D scenario from the Infinite Realms tabletop battle map projection software. To do this, we will load two different battle maps into Infinite Realms, one quite bright and one quite dark, and photograph each of them in a brightly lit and sparsely lit room. In addition, we will take notes on brightness, contrast, colors, reflections and general image quality, recording our subjective impressions. For the evaluation, we then compare the brightness on the photos and incorporate our personal impressions. At the end, we will grade each solution by image quality, distracting reflections and cleanability, just in case. If you are new to the channel, Infinite Realms is not just a YouTube channel on all your tabletop battle map needs, it is also a projection software optimized to bring your digital battle maps as conveniently and high definition as possible to the table. Classic maps, dynamic video maps and even full 3D maps with daytime and weather. Visual effects, configurable soundscapes, fog of war and much more. Check out one of our trailers here or find more info on our website infiniterealms.de. Oh, almost forgot, we are currently in early access. If you want to buy in, write a mail to Nina, nina at megavoid.de. Details in the description. Now on to the tests. We first took the bare wooden tabletop as a reference. We thought it couldn't get any worse and we were right. The picture quality is practically non-existent and there are also annoying reflections that completely destroy the overall picture depending on the viewing angle. At least it is easy to clean with a damp cloth. Almost everyone has a white tablecloth at home. A white bed sheet will also do. If not, ask mom or grandma. The purchase is therefore very cheap. The color and image quality is okay, but for a better result, we speak from experience, you should iron the tablecloth beforehand. Disturbing reflections do not exist here, but you should take very good care of your drinks because you would have to wash it. A modern alternative to grandma's tablecloth is a highly gloss plastic tablecloth. The picture quality is really good, but at the cost of annoying reflections that are clearly visible. But you can play with the whole horde of barbarians and make the tablecloth shiny again with a single wipe. We found a white rubber mat in an online store, which we thought would be a great base because it is as resistant as a plastic tablecloth, but not as reflective. This is exactly what our tests confirmed. The image quality is good, the reflections were strong or non-existent depending on the angle, but much better than with a plastic tablecloth. Cleaning is almost as easy as with a plastic tablecloth, as it has more friction. The rubber mat in this size, purchased directly from the manufacturer, costs around 20 bucks. Before we come to the canvas tests, what do you think of the solution so far? Leave a comment and tell us your point of view. Now we wanted to show you the differences between the blank canvas and the canvas with acrylic paint and special projection paint, 
but there is not much difference. The image quality is generally good. The special paint is slightly better in the darkened room, brighter, more contrasty, but in the bright room it is much less contrasty. We hardly noticed any difference between the acrylic paint and the blank canvas. The disadvantage of the canvas is the inflexible size, an object on the table in addition, cleaning goes only by painting over. A plus point is that there are no reflections, of course only with matte paint. Speaking of matte paint, or paint at all, the small can of projector paint costs 35 bucks, making it the most expensive purchase in our test. During the filming, a roll of wrapping paper fell into our hands, and that's when we had the idea of testing the white reverse side. Everyone has wrapping paper in the house. The purchase is therefore very inexpensive and versatile. The image quality is okay, but could have been better, but the reflections were a disaster. As an emergency solution, if you have nothing at all there, but still better than the tabletop. If the wrapping paper gets dirty, you have unfortunately no way to clean it. Since we couldn't agree on a clear favorite, here are the opinions of our team. Enjoy! Due to the easy handling and the relatively low purchase prices, I find the rubber mat the best. The image quality is good and you can live with a reflection. It combines the advantages of the cotton tape tablecloth and the plastic tablecloth. For me, the canvas is not practical, because here only the projection color convinced. But since this is very expensive and the canvas on the table disturbs. If you would paint the tabletop directly with a paint, however, that would still be worth considering. Hi, my favorite is the rubber mat. For me, it is the perfect compromise. It is not the best solution in any category, but at the same time it does not have any notable weaknesses. The image quality is good and reflections are kept within limits. It doesn't get in the way and is easy to clean. Plus, it wasn't particularly expensive. After careful consideration, I've come to the conclusion that I don't have a 100% favorite. But anything is better than the bare tabletop. Both the plastic and the cotton tablecloth and the rubber mat are good value for money, though there are small differences in saturation and contrast. I find the projection color best in the dark, but the price, combined with the canvas, is still very high. Compared to the purchase costs of a projector, the rubber mat is inexpensive. If that's still too much for you, a plastic tablecloth or grandma's tablecloth will do just as well. I can't decide on a clear favorite out of these three, because they all have their own advantages and disadvantages. Infinite Realms is your advantage to get even more out of your setup. Check out this trailer, this developer vlog by Danny where he shows off the latest features he added to Infinite Realms, or this video on what enhanced tabletop is all about anyways. Have a good time and see you in the next one. Bye!